Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, haven't really been too busy lately. Uh, so I don't really have a good excuse on why I haven't posted anything. I can tell you the weather's been kind of crappy here in New Jersey, a lot of rain. So that keeps you from, you know, doing a lot of stuff. The car is pretty much ready to go. My dad's going through the transmission just to make sure that the trans brake is uh, operating correctly. Sometimes you have a little problem getting in reverse and not getting on the uh, trans brake. So he's going through that. Uh, I have been working on the trailer. Like I said uh, in the last video, I had a lot of problems with the uh, MSD grid system, but we got that all straightened out, thank God. Um, I also want to thank everybody for subscribing that's been that's been doing it and commenting. Uh, I believe I'm up to 111 subscribers so far, which is it's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me, because I never thought I was going to even see like 10. So, you know, hope the uh, numbers keep climbing. But anyway, I've been working on my trailer, trying to get a workbench in there and a toolbox. So I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, head out that way. All right, I am no carpenter, and I kind of got a rough plan of what I want this all to kind of look like. So let's get up in here. All right, it's what I got so far. My uh, buddy, we'll call him Contractor Paul, he uh, gave me that toolbox. Last week I built the... Uh, the top, I mounted the toolbox to it. It can't move. It's pretty solid in here. It's not going anywhere. And uh, I needed cabinet space. And really I was having a hard time finding cabinet doors or a cabinet, something I could cut up that I didn't really care about. So I came up with this. I went to Harbor Freight. I got this cabinet system here, $99. Comes with a bunch of shelves, hooks, and has three doors, all keyed the same. So, so what the plan was, I wanted something pretty cheap that I didn't have to, uh, well, I wanted something cheap in case I ended up destroying it because I am not a carpenter. I hate wood. I'd rather work with metal any day. Um, so it actually worked out pretty good. I'll show you what I did real quick here. This is what's left of the, uh, the cabinet. I assembled it with two doors. I didn't put the back of it on. Once, uh, obviously that side's in it. Once I got it where I wanted, I cut it off and then cut, cut it two inches all the way around and mounted it in this framework. Trying not to overthink it. Anyway, so what the plan is with the rest of it is to put a face on it and uh, use a really thin plywood, maybe a piece of Luan, uh, you know, maybe some thin sheet of aluminum and get it all boxed in. Maybe put a couple shelves in there. So ultimately, I'd like to be able to put a battery in there. I don't want to really see any of the wires. I can have everything in the cabinets and then run LED lights throughout the rest of the rest of the trailer. I did buy two cabinets though, because uh, uh where are we at here? Ultimately, I'd like to put them up on the wall here or up on the side wall. Because it's it's pretty good size, has a lot of racks I could use to storage. Um after that, it's all like, once I get it all roughed in, it's gonna be all like a fit and finish kind of thing because I hate things looking junky. Uh, anyway, that's, that's all I really got so far. I've 
I've been working on it off and on for like, uh, I don't know, about two weeks, two, three weeks. It's, uh, yeah, it took me a while to get that toolbox. But like I said, Carpenter Paul, or Contractor Paul, that's what we call him, Contractor Paul, he came through and uh, got me hooked up with that. So hopefully uh, the only things I really would have to have to do is uh, get a battery, get some LED strip lights, uh, wire that all up, get that all wired up. And then uh, I like to paint the walls flat white yeah, I like to get the walls flat white, so that's why it's good and bright in there. I'm not really worried about a winch at the moment, because I could always back my side-by-side uh, -side in, and then winch the car up in there if we have to. Anyway, I know this is a short one. I wanted to get something up there so people knew what, I, what was going on. And I didn't want to abandon anybody, so... There you go. Comment, like, and subscribe. Keep pushing the channel. Thanks.